392 game man what's going on man back at it again with another video hey man if you're just not tuned in to the channel man make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn that bell on at the top so you'll get notified every time i drop a new video man but um yeah man so what i wanted to show y'all today man was uh a couple little engine mods i got man but first thing first bro i got to give y'all this cold start So, first thing first, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like popping their hoods, dog, when it comes to racing and whatnot. But, you know, number one, dog, I really don't care because, uh, you know what I'm saying, we race, and, hey, I want you to know what I got. If you can beat me, you can beat me. If not, then, you know what I'm saying, hey, it is what it is. But I don't hide what I got, man. Plus, I got a channel, so y'all want to see everything done to these cars anyway. So, um, first thing, man, I just want to apologize for not making an uh, a install video. Um on what I'm about to show y'all because if y'all can see this wasn't on my last video so I got a new oil catch can man um and then I got the AFE silver bullet throttle body spacer so first thing man I'm gonna start with the catch can dog so you know those of you who don't know the purpose of a catch can is like see right here this whole thing had one line going right here so you was getting oil and sludge from when you run these cars it was pushing all out through the engine all through there and then you can even see it like if you take your throttle body out you will see like little remnants of oil and all that on the end of it, man so you know it was just basically recycling itself back and forth man so basically what the catch can does is is intercepted in the middle you know once you run these cars hard like you do man the catch can comes in and it it it, it, it uh it catches all that oil and sludge and all that the dirty oil and stuff you don't want man and um it keeps the engine clean. A clean, a cleaner engine makes better performance. Also, I'm not gonna do it because I'm pretty sure it got a little oil in it. But unlike most catch cans, you know, this one still screws off. So when you get ready to change it and dump the oil off, all you gotta do is just unscrew the bottom of it and you can just dump it out. Or with this one, it comes with a little valve. So right now you see the valve is up. So that means it's closed. But if I didn't wanna twist it off, all I gotta do is just push this valve down and then it'll just drain the oil that way. So that was pretty dope, man. And then it don't take long to install at all. You just put the pieces together and then you screw it to the engine block, like right on the other side of the thermostat housing. And then you just screw it in. It comes with all the necessities you need. So it comes with the holes. It's just measure and cut to the, the length, man. And you know what I'm saying? Boom, bam. All right, so the main thing is, um, well, I ain't gonna say the main thing, but the next thing is, uh, this right here afe power silver bullet throughout the body space all right man i got this off of um fasthemies.com i'll make sure i drop a link down below um so you can see where i get it from now let me just say this when i drop the link it's gonna say 2015 charger and challenger srt8 whatever whatever fit 2015 and up but if you have a 392 engine this will fit on there like I said, I know the website gonna say 2015 and up, but like I said, if you have a 392 engine, it will fit on there perfect. Um, and like I said, the only thing you do is just take the throttle body off and this goes behind the throttle body. And um, yeah, so and it, and it also comes with, uh, it also comes with uh, like longer screws. So you can, uh, you know, uh, Make sure that it goes up in there real good. So it's real easy to install, man. Like I said, I really, I'm sorry I didn't make an install video. I was pressed for time, man. Um, and I just had to go. And it was getting ready to rain. So, you know, I just wanted to put it on real quick so I can test it, make sure everything was everything. But, um, and then, of course, man, you know, I put like, you know, every time I get a little mod, whatever, they put little, little stickers or whatever. But it's cool, man. Like I said, nothing too fancy. Now, I'm going to just go over a little brief description on the purpose of having this thought about the space. Well, essentially what it's supposed to do is um, um, the, the throttle body spacer, man, it's, um, it's made with like a little, 
helix board design in the inside so essentially what it does it, it changes the uh, the direction of the airflow it takes it and changes it into like a little tornado effect and it allows for a uh, smoother uh, air to go inside like it makes like the combustion and all that which essentially gives it better torque response to miles, per, uh, miles per gallon you know what I'm saying all that so um, that's why I got it, man. So, um, but the throttle response, man, it, um, it, it, it's like, you know, hey, it's, 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 it's different. Like, you know, you can definitely tell the throttle response. I don't know, you know, like. Get down through that, Maxine. <laughs> you definitely can tell the throttle um, difference, man. Um, and, you know what I'm saying, on top of that, you know, it makes this little uh, cool little whistling noise. Um, you know, it might sound like you got some forced induction going on in there uh, on the outside. Um, so yeah, that's that's cool. And it was on like $130, man. Um, I got mine off of uh, fasthemis.com. I make sure I put the link down below um, so y'all can check that out, man. But uh, but yeah, man. So. Like, you know, as far as like, you know, engine performance, taking care of your car, um, definitely will get a catch can, like I said, because that way you can keep all that sludge away. Oh, I know there's no a Camaro behind me, man. But yeah, man, you can keep all that sludge off, man, and, and all that, you know, hard driving, you know, at the end of a night in Mexico or whatever, you know, it'll catch all that and it won't get recycled back into your engine, man. Hey man, listen, I ain't even playing though. Definitely a difference in the throttle response. Um, like, yeah, yeah. So y'all just check it out, man. Like I said, it's only $130. If you don't feel like, you know, it did nothing for you, hey, it's only 130 bucks, man. So, you know, but I like it. Like I said, I can definitely tell the difference. Well, I'm gonna I'm 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 let y'all hear the, the um, I'm gonna let y'all hear the little whistling noise it made, man. Um, when I, I'm gonna put it in part and do a couple engine rails, you can hear the engine noise, the, the little whistle noise that I was talking about, man. And um, yeah, now you like when I when I'm pulling, like when I'm pulling, it's like, like it's a cooler sound, man. Like <laughs> I can't even flex about it. It's, it's a cooler sound, man. So um, I'm pretty sure it'll fit all um, three nine two motors though. Um, I'm not sure about the well I'm not sure about the five sevens um but I do know it will fit all 392 motors so if you got 392 then this will fit if you have the stock cold air intake you know it's gonna be easy breezy and it's still gonna be easy breezy to put on if you have a aftermarket cold air intake but just depending on the size of the cold air intake that you have you might have to do a little wiggling just a little bit like me i have the jlt series 2 cold air intake it got it has a larger uh intake tool so i had to loosen the screw that holds the intake box to the frame of the car i had to loosen it so i can have a little wiggle room I'm trying to think of y'all hear that little suit. I don't know. <clears throat> but, you know, I'll show y'all that. Can y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, man, but it gives a little suit, 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 suit. It sounds like, I don't know. It's cool, though. It's a cool little sound. Like a little turbo ish, you know, forced induction type sound. gonna be pretty much a wrap for this video man like i said i'm gonna drop the link down below y'all make sure y'all check that out and uh yeah man on to the next video man all right